Good morning, guys. So we officially have our first frost this morning. I'm going to show you. So not sure if y'all can see that really well or not, but we have our first frost in October. So now it's really crunch time <laughs> to get all of our lists done um, before it gets too cold out here. So the kids are inside chopping peppers. I'm going to go check on the cows, make sure they're good. We're going to leave them in the paddock they're in until Monday. So let's go check on the cows. We have a deer in the back pasture. I don't know if you can see her. So exciting. I'll see if I can get a better close up. It's kind of strange to see him. I figured Pop would run him away. Yeah, she's gone. I'm sure my wind pants are way too loud uh, to sneak up on her. So since we're leaving the cows in this paddock for four days, are we gonna try to? I'm gonna walk through and just see if they still have plenty of grass to eat and if I think we can keep waiting. Um, our forage isn't really great back here and they're kind of picky because they've been on the front pastures with really good grass. So I wanna make sure they still have plenty to eat and they, their condition looks okay. Also gotta make sure the fence is up because sometimes when the deer run through here, they'll jump into the hot wire and it'll like get tangled in the trees. So when we run across around the tree line back here, I always try to make sure the deer haven't ran into the fence. Good morning guys, Tina, you still asleep? Tina. Did y'all see the deer? So I can see where they're eating and laying down and stuff, but I think they still have enough forage in here that will be okay. I don't know if Nathan showed y'all, but he strapped the water trough to these two stumps thinking it might help to keep them from headbutting it. But apparently they decided to knock it out last night. So I'll have to pull that back in here and fill it up. Tina decided to get up up there. So, Buddy's walking around. I'm gonna go turn on the water for him, finish checking this side of the fence, and then I'm gonna go feed the pigs. Kids already did all the chickens and dogs, cats. So, that's all I have to do is take care of the pigs and the cows are good to go except for water. Then we are going to get ready, um, do a few cleanup tasks today. And tonight we're going to be camping outside in the tent. Ty hung our outdoor lights above their enos last night. And we are going to sleep outside. We'll see if we make it because it's pretty cold. All right, I got these two fed. We're actually feeding them more than they need at this age, just trying to grow them out faster. Um, our other pigs will be eight months old by the time we harvest them. And we're hoping to get these guys harvested at six months instead of eight. So the little pig energizer is not doing anything. It's not like blinking. I'm gonna grab the other one that we had on the cows up here and see um, if I can get that on them because we do not want them to get out today. Ty got these guys all fed. We're gonna get them some more hay in here. They're starting to uh, run out of bedding and make sure they're good to go. And I think Ty might wrap this in plastic so we can keep these guys warmer. They're all fluffed up this morning. These girls are hungry. Um, and we'll move them tomorrow. So this is all pretty clear. Um, and they are getting really big, which is exciting. I got, I'm running this morning. Pup is running with me. So we're gonna get our dog on. I went and chopped the rest of the peppers the kids didn't chop up. They said it started burning their eyes and now they're making pancakes. So 
they are waiting for it to warm up a little bit more before they start um, coming outside to play. So we can get a run in and then see what we can do to get ready for camping outside tonight and cleaning up. Okay guys, so as you can see, Ty hung up these lights yesterday for us um, since we're gonna be camping back here. He is and starting. I have new braids. You have new braids. Um, Ty is getting some wood chopped smaller for us, uh, so we can get our fire started. We gotta run and get some hot dogs and hot dog buns, and get ready to set up the tent when we come back. It's pretty windy up here, so we're not gonna set it up yet, just because. We don't want to risk it like blowing and getting ripped or anything like that. Um, so y'all will probably watch us setting up the tent tomorrow and you'll get to see us camping here in our backyard. Okay, Caroline is going to try chopping some wood. Be careful. Uh oh. just knocked the whole thing off. <laughs> is, it, is it kind of tricky? You think that one's going to be better? That's more lighter. Good contact. Dang it. Here. Now look. Now just take it. Watch your feet. Okay, while the kids work on chopping some firewood, Caroline's giving it a shot, but it's kind of hard for her still. Um, I'm going to find the wheelbarrow and get the feet out of the truck, fill up the pig food bin, and try to grab some hay for Ty's layer flock because they need hay in there. It's getting stinky. This is the last bag of pig food I gotta put in the barrel. Then we're gonna start on Ty's chickens. I got this all full now to give these guys some hay. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we threw down some hay. Um, we're gonna let them scratch it all out. And you can see they're already starting to peck at it, scratch at it. Um, but we gotta fill up their water and then I think we're gonna head out. Okay, show me a trick. Good job. All right, Ty is filling up that chicken water and I'm gonna go check the cows really quick before we head out and make sure they haven't knocked over their water, make sure their fence is good. And then we're off to Whole Foods. Alrighty guys, so I hope you liked this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little bell button, share this video with your friends and family. Y'all have a good one and God bless.